Hey everybody, it's Stephen here and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing the rapid fire book tag and it's kind of fitting because I'm actually doing this at the very last minute and I'm trying to try and get it out very rapidly. So I decided to do this tag today. I am now filming it and hopefully I'm going to finish editing and publishing it within the next one to two hours. So it rarely is very rapid. So let's see how we get on with this one. So the first question, ebook or physical book? For me, it's got to be a physical book. I do like my ebooks, but I tend to get them when I can't wait for the physical copy to come out. So I'll get it on pre-order, get it, and then get the physical when it comes back in. Okay, paper book or hardback? For me, it's paperback. I've got the odd few hardbacks and I like them for nice decorative kind of look, but I prefer the feel of a paperback when reading it. Online or in-store book shopping? For me, it's in-store all the way. Although I must admit, if it wasn't for online, I do not think I would have survived this lockdown. Being able to order from the cook of my own home is a fantastic thing, but there's nothing like going in and supporting your local businesses. Trilogies or series? Uh, for me, it's got to be series. If you look behind me, you can see lots and lots of large series, and that's what you tend to get with light novels. Uh, heroes or villains? So for me, <laughs> it's got to be the villains. I actually like a good villain in a book and I even, I like it even more when you're actually following the villain. I think it's the villain that makes the hero. So without a good villain, you would never get a hero to believe in. A book you want everybody to read. Okay, you're probably getting sick of me saying this one because I've had this question come before, but it's got to be Ascendants of a Bookworm. I adore the, both the light novel, the manga, and even the anime for that one, so if I can't recommend it to you enough. Recommend an underrated book. Uh, for me, probably Last of the Ren Shy. It's not one I hear many people talking about, and it's one I've recommended to friends before, and when they've picked it up, they've really enjoyed it. The last book you finished. Uh, that would be The Alchemist That Survived, Now Dreams of a Quiet City Life, uh, Volume 6. The last book you bought. I can't remember. Um, I think it was a manga, and it was either Ascendancy of a Bookworm, Volume 4, or Arafaretta From Calm Place to World's Strongest, Volume 6. Uh, but I do know it was a manga. Weirdest thing you've ever used as a bookmark? Okay, so two things come to mind. The first thing is using a car part sticker, and the other weirdest thing that I've ever used is actually a book. Uh, used books, yes or no? So yes, but I don't own many. So normally I buy brand new because I tend to buy from uh, local stores who mainly only stock brand new books uh, as a way to support their local businesses. Uh, but I've got nothing against used books and I do own a few. It's just the ones that I want you can't get locally, so it's not something I ever get much chance to actually get. Uh, but I might be looking at some older series on eBay and stuff like that in the near future. Uh, top three favourite genres. Uh, for me, it's got to be Isekai, Shonen and probably sci-fi. So Isekai, for those of you who don't know, is transported to another world. Uh, Shonen is... Uh, like the Japanese version of Young Adult and Sci-Fi, everybody knows what. Uh, borrow or Buy? Uh, for me, it's Buy. I don't think I've ever actually borrowed a book that I can remember. Uh, normally, I'll go out and buy them myself if I want them because I just love, as you can see, uh, adding to my collection. So, Characters or Plot? So, for me, it's got to be 50-50. Because without good characters, it doesn't matter how good the plot is. And without good plot, it doesn't matter how good the characters are. So for me, it's 50-50. Uh, long or short books? Uh, for me, it's changed. I used to like my really long books. Uh, I'm now actually starting to enjoy shorter books uh, that I can read uh, really quickly and get onto another one. And because I read a lot of different series... Um, each of, the ones, each of the ones you can see behind me, I've got on the go at the moment and waiting for new ones to come out in all those series. So them being quite short means that I can move from one book to the next book to the next book to the next book. Uh, long or short chapters? Again, this is the same. I used to love my really long chapters, uh, but now I quite like the shorter ones. 
I don't like putting down a book until I've finished my current chapter, so having a shorter chapter is usually a lot more beneficial if I have to put down a book at short notice. And uh, name the first three books that come to mind. Um, Ascendancy of a Bookworm, Overlord, and Iofretta from Commonplace World's Strongest. Books that make you laugh or cry. Uh, both. So I like to laugh when I'm in a down mood, and sometimes if you need to cry, there's nothing like a good tearjerker, so it's got to be both. Although if I had to pick a preferred one, I'd definitely say laughing. Our world or a fictional world? Uh, a fictional world every time. I love my fantasy books. Uh, they are my favourite kind of book overall. So uh, fictional or uh, fantasy world all the way. Audiobooks, yes or no? Up until uh, last month, I'd have said no, but I've just recently got into audiobooks while I'm walking and exercising, uh, so now I'm really enjoying them. While I won't do them for every book I read, they're definitely something that I'm enjoying more and more as I'm listening to them. Do you ever judge a book by its cover? Uh, yes, I have. So my series I recommended earlier, The Last of the Ren Shy, I wouldn't have picked that book up if I hadn't noticed a cover in a uh, airport shop. I was looking for a book to go on holiday with and it just caught my eye and I didn't have much time. So that's the one I went for and thought this will be fantastic. And I was right. Uh, I've never judged a book badly by its cover, though, only positively. Books to movies or books to TV adaptations? Uh, for me, it's the TV adaptations. So with light novels, and manga you tend to find a lot of them are or a lot of the good ones are adapted into anime series so I'm lucky I actually get to see a lot of the books I like in TV format which I think is fantastic sometimes you don't get the entire series sometimes it's a way designed to get people to read the light novels or to read the manga but uh, having that kind of thing uh, as an option is absolutely wonderful a movie or TV series you preferred to the book. That one, I'm not 100% sure. I don't think I've actually rarely ever preferred a movie or TV show to its book counterpart. There's a few that I've watched that I then haven't wanted to pick up the books for, so something like uh, the Harry Potter series, uh, something like that. So once I've watched the movies, I never really wanted to actually read the books. Um, I know it's unusual, but that's probably the only thing I can think of. Uh, series or standalone? So for me it's series all the way. As I mentioned before, a lot of my books are heavily seriesed and I love the continuation of the story. So for me, series all the way. Anyway, that was the Rapid Fire book tag. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Take care for now.